twimini ya mavone kana nza manzao ya kemsa kwa oyu ni edhu wa yidhu kisa ya kana yina kikalo na adhu kumieli alama na vetangiwa ni president William Ruto kuma ovisini ni kuidhu wa beo lusa ni ulona ende endhini wa kambu ni wanda wa maiweta nda wa isi nedhi ya wasi nye echo masivitali ni oingineti kunengwa enendhi kwa oyu ni maweta ukunikili ni wende na ambe kumanda kila kina ende endhini wa kambu ni uu public notification that came out on the 15th of May communicating that um, the board is dissolved and myself and a number of my colleagues technical officers are suspended there has been no formal communication from anybody about what the charge is or what the issue was or what are the details indeed of the suspension and what the expectations are there's been no communication at all, which I find um, quite disconcerting because there are procedures in the Employment Act on how these things are evoked um, and what, what follows after that. But I am left wondering, Chair, you can imagine I've had a few weeks at home and I've been reflecting on a lot of things and I'm left wondering, given that this particular process has demonstrated there was nothing untoward about it. Whether my suspension is indeed linked to this particular tender or perhaps to other reasons that I may not be aware of. For polyethylene nets, what are the different specifications? And what are the colors? What are the shapes? What are the size dimensions? What are the designs? What are the insecticide impregnation? Um, different chemicals. What are the border fittings, the labeling, the descriptions? The, the packaging, all which was part of the tender document as appropriate. And you will also find communication between the National Treasury and KEMSA agreeing on the quantities and the specific uh, delivery areas of which particular net <coughs> and which particular uh, county and the quantities. And you will also find the authority to undertake the procurement that was signed to start off this procurement last year in November, and ultimately the email correspondences between our staff and various global fund and national treasury colleagues 